Persona 3 Reload is a massive RPG where you need to decide on how to spend your precious time during the day and at night throughout a calendar year. It's easy to miss some key features that either make dungeon crawling and battling monsters easier or help building stronger relationships and social sim elements. There's a way to min-max your way through Persona 3 Reload with a strict schedule, and for that, we have a robust wiki on IGN, but part of the fun is the freedom you're given. Now, there are tutorials that lay out the basics, but you may overlook some important things along the way. So here, we have 11 tips you need to know before starting to make the most of your time with Persona 3 Reload. With a persona in your roster of the same arcana as the social link you're about to hang out with, you'll get extra points towards advancing that relationship, letting you rank up faster. You can check each social link's arcana by either talking to them or checking in the social link menu. If you don't have a corresponding persona, you can summon one in the Velvet Room for a price. Early on, you may not have the personas for the right arcana, so be sure to keep fusing personas and acquiring new ones when exploring Tartarus. One of the new features in Reload is Rewind. Instead of save scumming and fear of making an errant dialogue choice in a social link, for example, you can pull up the menu and kick the game back to a previous state. Up to five previous states will be available, which are split by the five previous day and night instances. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights, you can work at Chagall Cafe. It's located in Polonia Mall on the left side of the courtyard. Working here gives you one point in charm and one point in courage, and a smooth 2500 yen to boot. This is particularly useful in the early game, where you're rushing to boost your social stats as fast as possible, and you'll likely be strapped for cash, so it's an efficient use of your time. The nighttime tends to be light on activities until you get deeper into the story, making this a good bet at the start. To dive deeper on the three social stats, these are important for accessing certain social links, and various activities give you points towards them. They max out at rank 6 for each, and the tough part is that you can't see how close you are to ranking up, you just have to trust the process. Let's do a quick rundown of the best activities to engage in if you want to rank up efficiently, so bust out the pen and paper real quick. Three arcade games called You're the Answer, House of the Deceased, and High School of Youth offer two points to their respective social stats. These cost money to play and are only available on certain days, so check the arcade to see when they're available. And use these at night if there aren't any social links or social events going on. Iwatorai Station is full of restaurants that boost your social stats. Wakatsu Kitchen for academics, Wild Duck Burger for courage, and Hagakure Ramen for charm. They also have specials on certain days for bigger stat boosts. We also recommend checking these out at night if there isn't anything else available to do. Study sessions at the dorm take place the week before an exam, and each session offers two academic points. You should also take advantage of these since you'll also get reload exclusive cutscenes. There's also software you can purchase at Netcafe that'll boost stats, which you can use on the computer at the dorm. Paying 10,000 yen at the shrine gives you a whopping three academic points, so it's good if you have the money to spare and are lagging on that stat. However, there are several other means for ranking up your social skills, as you'll see. Around mid-June, when Fuka joins the party, special activities with the crew open up. You can see these with the special bubble over their heads at the dorm. You'll be able to read with them on the second floor, or cook, watch TV, or garden with them on the first floor. Reading and watching TV will boost a certain social stat depending on who it is, and cooking and gardening will yield items you can take into battle. But the more important thing is once you spend enough time with a certain character, you'll unlock super useful stat buffs for them. That's the power of friendship for you. Characters who want to spend time with you will text you. It's important to check this because special opportunities to hang out with male party members will pop up throughout the story, which are not social links, and these are easy to miss. These are one of the new features for Reload and showcase some neat story moments while also offering perks like stat boosts, new abilities, and items. At certain points, they'll also text you when the good doggo Koromaru wants to hang out, and you definitely don't want to miss that. Twilight Fragments are a new item found throughout the world. 
These allow you to open up high level chests and fully restore your party's HP and SP in Tartarus. However, these are hard to come by, so we would advise against spending them on healing. There may come a point when you think you have plenty, but the cost of opening these special chests will add up. Note that at the end of every block, you will have one or two high level chests and will cost three Twilight Fragments each and tend to contain powerful gear. Make sure you have enough for these. Also, pop a save before opening them because some have some silly optional outfits that are not worth the price. We advise skipping those. Twilight Fragments are earned by finding blue sparkling items in the world, completing certain requests for Elizabeth, or by talking to Elizabeth after advancing social links and the story. In July, Club Escapade in Polonia Mall will open up. There is a fortune teller in the corner of the dance floor and you can draw fortunes that will help you in Tartarus. On the nights you decide to go to Tartarus, do not forget to draw a fortune beforehand. We highly suggest getting the rarity fortune. This increases the chances of finding those freaky gold hands throughout the dungeon floors, and if you can chase them down and kill them, you get massive rewards like items, experience, and a high chance at shuffle time. They are much faster to kill than strong enemies and won't drain your SP as much, letting you maximize your resources when ascending Tartarus. Theurgy attacks are like limit breaks and are a new feature of Reload. Each party member starts with one and has an additional one to unlock. However, the main character can unlock several additional Theurgy attacks by getting specific personas. For example, once you have Jack Frost and Pyrojack in the compendium, you'll unlock the Jack Brothers Theurgy attack which inflicts almighty damage and has a high chance of downing enemies, even bosses. Note that you do not need to keep these personas in your roster, you just need to have had them at some point. One of the best ones you can get in the late game is called Scarlet Havoc, which requires both the personas Mithras and Siegfried. This does severe slash type damage to all enemies and bypasses any elemental resistances. It's borderline OP. Generally, going into Tartarus when you unlock a new block of floors is always a good idea. However, if you really want to make the most of your nights, you'll want to consider holding off on them until roughly 4 days before the next full moon. This is specifically to account for the missing persons quests. At certain points before an upcoming full moon, Elizabeth will call you to tell you people are missing in Tartarus and you'll need to find them on a specific floor. Missing persons can be rescued up until the next full moon, and the latest this happens in the moon cycle is 4 days before. So if you want to make the most of a Tartarus run and aim to clear an entirely new block and rescue everyone in one fell swoop for that month, heed this advice. With smart combat tactics, it's achievable at any point in the game. Like in Persona 5, Persona 3 Reload allows you to connect online for one of its most handy features, the Online Activity Tracker. This gives you a rundown of what other players chose to do during the specific time and day you're currently on. It can help you notice something you may have otherwise missed, whether that be a hangout opportunity with a character or a special event that'll pique your interest. You can also use this to find the answers to pop quizzes that are sprinkled throughout the school year, but not on midterms and final exams, which we have covered here on IGN's wikis. So those are some key tips we found super helpful in our playthrough of Persona 3 Reload, which are fairly easy to overlook. Now, if you need test answers for school, don't tell your teachers you can find them here on IGN. And be sure to check out our other guides on Persona 3 Reload to make the most of school life and the dark hour.